Hey, what's up, y'all? You know what I'm really sick of? I'm really sick of these men on these podcasts, these videos, these so-called love relationship guru men talking to women about other men. Nine times out of ten, the men that are out here creating videos and doing these podcasts to, to so-called warn us ladies about men and what we need to look for, they ten times worse than the men that they're talking about. They are real-life scumbags off this app. This is just another way to pimp women. If you notice, the majority of them, they're either selling a book or they need you to subscribe or whatever it is, they're using their platform to, to reach women, to talk to women, to be able to finesse them out of some kind of way. It's still a form of pimping to me because if you out here telling women what they need to be looking out for and what they should be doing and then, you know, subscribe to this, buy this, blah, 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 blah. But then in your reality off this app, you're a scumbag. You're 10 times worse than the men you're talking about. You're a hypocrite. Majority of these men, ladies, that's telling women what we should be looking out for or telling us about men. This is just another form of pimping. This is another way for them to make money off of us. I refuse to listen to them. Case in point, Count Dracula, a.k.a. Kevin Samuels. He made a lot of money and gained a lot of influence by tearing women down. Did that, Was that man not twice divorced? Couldn't get a passport because he owed back child support. And he passed away on top of the type of woman that he used to talk about. That lady was a, a middle-aged woman. She wasn't no size two. Okay, but he talked about us. He talked about us being, you know, heavyset women, calling them big shirts. He was a hypocrite. His real life did not coincide with what he talked about, but he made money off of it. And what's the other one? The 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 liken from off the underworld, aka Derek Jackson. That if he wasn't no fraud, he was sponsored by Potter House or something, right? TD Jakes uh, sponsored that man. He sold all types of books and made all types of money and turned out he was a, a hypocrite. He was anything but what he preached about or what he talked about. And don't sit and then you and I'm gonna tell you something. You can learn a lot about a man by how he allows his woman to be uh seen. That lady, he had that lady on that on that video looking like she was the maid. Okay? While he all had his nice little outfit on, she had a, a bonnet on or whatever she did. He wanted her to look homely like that because that's how he had her. He was uh, controlling her mentally. And I know that she supposedly had left and all oh, she got this. She she was making appearances because she got a book out now. I wouldn't be surprised if he not getting a piece of that. I wouldn't be surprised if that was a whole gimmick and he's using her and manipulating her to be able to get money off of her because he kind of lost his influence. Stop allowing these men i'm gonna tell you something fellas if you out here trying to preach and give women advice you know what you really need to do you need to be talking to these other men stop talking to us if you if you trying to help us women if you really want to help us women start talking to these men and telling them and teaching them how to be better men give them show them a way that they can create financial stability so they can better care for their women and their children. That's how you're going to help us. You sitting around on a podcast behind a mic telling us what we need to look out for. That, that is not helping us. Teach these men. Give these men financial literacy. Teach them how to better manage their money so they can better take care of their woman and their kids. I don't need you to tell me if a man isn't calling you, if, if a man isn't buying you flowers. I don't need you. The only men that I respect that have a podcast, that get on here to have a, a large platform is Earn Your Leisure. Because at least they're trying to show you different ways to create a, a financial legacy. They're trying to show you alternative ways to make money, you know, to better care for your family. That's what men need to be doing. Men don't need to talk to us women. They need to talk to other men and, and show them a way that they can, can create financial literacy so they can t better take care of their women and their children. I don't need none of you pimp-ass, fake-ass, podcast, relationship, so-called experts telling me nothing. Because if you, know, if you notice, men don't listen to women. Men don't listen to women. You can tell your man something. You know, you give him some good advice, he'll just brush it off. But let one of his guys or a male figure tell him almost the same exact thing, he'll believe it and listen to it. 
Men don't listen to women, even if our advice is right. But anytime a man get on here, we listening to them. We paying money to go see a whole panel of men. Talk. I don't want to see y'all. I'm not paying y'all nothing. If you want to help us women, talk to men. Teach men how to be better men. How to create financial uh abundance for them so they can better care for their women and their children. That's what's important. Y'all want to get up here and try to finesse us on some on Keith Sweat shit. You know, I'm trying to make it last forever, talking all, you know, that's pimping to me. Ladies, I'm telling you, majority of these men that sit up here and give us relationship advice and tell us what we need to be looking for, in their reality off this app, they 10 times worse than the men, the men that they talk about. Stop listening to them. Stop giving them any energy. If they want to be, you know, if they want to help us, talk to, they, talk to your brothers. Talk to the men. Don't talk to us.